Good morning to you, my friends. I'm Cork, and this is Wobble Dogs. It's been a little bit since I've actually been in my own world here, and there's actually been an update to the game a little while ago. Uh, they did a pretty small update, but with some pretty exciting features that I would like to show off today. Uh, first of which is something I was not aware we needed <laughs> in this game. But apparently, by popular demand, as a quote from the developers, uh, you can now pet the vacuum? So that's a thing. I don't know if that's absolutely necessary or not, but <laughs> hey, we've got it now. So uh, yeah, you can, you can pet your favorite little Roomba. So that's great. Apparently people wanted that. I don't know, I guess, you know, I'm not complaining. It's not a bad thing. It's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, you, know, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's there. Um, another feature that I'm actually kind of, uh, curious about. Can I, can I, uh, where, where can I, dogs? There was another setting they added somewhere that would allow more dogs in the room. I want to do that. Maybe if I go into the settings from... No. Controls? Nah. I figured it out. It is not a setting because it's a debug option. I've got mutation. Uh, not necessary. I'm doing things. So, how do I access the console? How do I type? I must know. It's not the usual keys. Can I, like, type anywhere? Blah, 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 blah. I'm pressing a whole bunch of buttons. Hold on. I need to figure this out. According to this, it's tab and slash. There we are. <laughs> now, if I have the right command, I can type in there. Oopsie. I want to go. Okay, good. Uh, you press escape to make it go away. Um, now, people say, the devs say, that is, to use this responsibly because it can make your computer crash and stuff like that because there's a reason why there's a limit on dogs because these things are really hard to simulate they've got so much physics and they're just you know so wobbly there's a reason why there's a limit of 10. um i'm going to remove that limit today and see what happens just for science you know for science good old science we love science let's do this then set dog max Let's start off with a good old whoopsie. Why are we caps locked? Is that gonna work? I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, yep. uh set dog max. Oh, 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 here we go. It's working. 20. I guess we don't need a space. Maybe we do need a space. And nothing's telling me that it worked. But maybe it did? Let's just start pumping out some dogs here. Um, we've got plenty of default doggos up here. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Oh, it seems to be working. Bring them out. Bring them out. There's so many that I can't even see them all. Please don't crash. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? <laughs> where, where did you come from? <laughs> um, where are all these dogs? Where are all of them? Uh, doggos? Oh, they're all down here. How did he get through? He must have gone up through the thingy. Oh my goodness, there's so many in here. Yikes. That's crazy. That's really cool that we can change the maximum dogs in the pen. It is a little laggy right now. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. There's so many dogs. Okay, what if we did a... Oh, hey, an egg. That's very helpful. What if we did some more? What if we just put it up to, say, 30? What would happen there? I'm nervous, though. I can't bring out? Why? Why not? Did I do it wrong? Set dog max 30? I didn't have to do a space before. I'm taking pictures and everything. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's different. Oh, I guess I needed a space. Maybe it worked the very first time when it was cap letters. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my keyboard. Uh, I don't want to send out any of my cool dogs because they could get into trouble. Let's just, uh, 
Keep on clicking. Okay. That's 30. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Help, help, abort, abort. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Help, help, help. No, 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 no. Click on the house. Click on the house, please. Click on the house. Please click on the house. Please click on Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Guys, I think I took it too far. Oh, oh, we're back. Come on, click on the house. <laughs> it's highlighted now. Come on, come on. Come on, I know you can do it. Come on, please, please, please do it. Please. Oh no. <laughs> I think I crashed it, guys. Well, luckily enough for me, when you have that cheat going, it doesn't actually save or load the game, so we can just jump right back in and be perfectly fine. Well, there we go. Now we know the chaos that we can command when you use cheats. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. So it seems like you can do, you know, 20 dogs kind of good. But as soon as you get over that, it's just, it's not happy. It's not a happy camper. Well, anyways, uh, while I was hatching those dogs that we mutated last time, I actually completed one of the achievements, which was to get an extruded dog, a really tall bodied dog. And that's an extra room. That's super cool. I really like that. Um, so maybe I could use this room to decorate with some of the new decorations they added, which is kind of like, uh, spooky themed stuff. I think it's the main idea of this update. I don't have any of it though, because my dogs are really boring and they don't give me anything. Also another kind of exciting feature. Look at this little button right here. Look at that. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, these characters represent a dog's dominant and recessive genes. These properties stick with a dog for life and will not change during pupation. Interesting. Uh, Wuxi's genetic breakdown. That's really cool, look. Voice, high pitch, eyes square. You can see all of the things. Missing wings, none. Head number one, wing number one. That's not true. Front leg pairs one, back leg pairs one. Oh, I guess wing pairs, probably. Huh. This is cool, it tells you all the stats. Left ear curl is 25%. Wait, is that real? Wait, is your left ear curled? I know I can't tell. <laughs> I was hoping this would like show the genetic path of a dog. Uh, unpettable. Um. I was, I thought there was a way we could do that. Like see the genetic line of which dogs were in the family tree. I don't know if that's possible. I feel like it was possible, but now it's not. Who are you? Granule? I don't even remember you, Granule. Well, that's pretty much everything that was in the update, except for like the cosmetic new like decorations and stuff, which I can't really control. So, um, that's, that's about as much as we're getting. Unless I sit here and wait for them to lay some capsules, which maybe they will. But they're not even adults yet, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, I kind of want to keep working towards all of these achievements here. One-winged angels, short, small. So I've been trying to work on small by uh, feeding some test dogs some good old chicken nuggets right over here. They're kind of tired because I haven't been taking care of them. Maybe if we just like go into the simulation, pick some smallish dogs and uh, try and get something, try and get something small. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Something like this. Yes, that's good. We're going down a very good line here, guys. Okay, I'm liking this. We'll just keep doing these two, I suppose. <gasps> Whoa, that guy is tiny. I think we found him, guys. I think, I think we found the, I think we found the one. I think I found the small dog. Now, I think I'm gonna have to mutate him at least once, maybe even a couple times. Sometimes it only goes when they get to teen. But, if this isn't a small dog, I don't really know what is. So, come on, I wanna see the tiny puppy. Give me the tiny puppy. Let me see. <gasps> it's so cute. I'm gonna call you Tiny Puppy. Tiny Puppy. Oh, I got it. I didn't even have to mutate him. He's just a tiny little puppy. That's adorable. Oh my goodness, I love this. Now I wanna make this with wings and stuff. That's awesome. Okay, you, I'm gonna store you away so that I can hand, hand tailor you to be what you need to be in the future. What did Small give me? 
a strange plush. Now, why would I want one? Not exactly sure, but it sure is strange. An adorable plush doll in the likeness of an unknown creature. What could this be? <laughs> well, hey, I, uh, I showcased an update and got an achievement just thrown in there at the end. So that's pretty nifty, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, I think that'll do it for this episode. I know it's short. I was just kind of planning an update showcase. Not much. I, I really hadn't planned a video for wobble dogs so i need to i need to get on the ball for that probably do another community showcase next time and you can stay tuned for that but until then i hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of wobble dogs if you did leave a like if you haven't already and you would like to you can subscribe to see more wobble dogs and all the other things i post right here on this channel and as always guys in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night